So let's call this guy Marco, and Marco's going through a lot. He's very successful, he just inherited his family's fabric business, but he's dealing with a lot of anxiety and depression. And one day he goes to see a psychiatrist, this guy, who we'll call Doc. And Doc is well known, he's like the best in the business, he allegedly treats Gwyneth Paltrow and Courtney Love. So Marco goes to Doc and he starts seeing him on the regular. And Doc's sessions are a little different than other psychiatrists. He takes his patients on walks where he has them take him to a restaurant during their sessions. It gets very personal, but his methods seem to work for Marco, because over time he starts to feel a little better, and he really starts to trust Doc, like with his life. In fact, Marco trusts Doc so much, he starts to run all his business decisions by him, and Doc will advise him on this stuff. Now Marco also has a sister, who we'll just call Sister, and Sister finds out that Doc's been advising Marco on the family fabric business, and she doesn't like it one bit, and tension starts to form between her and Marco. So of course, Marco talks to Doc about all this tension he has with his sister, because he talks to Doc about everything, and ultimately Doc advises Marco to cut ties with his sister completely. In fact, Doc pushes Marco to abandon a lot of his personal and romantic relationships, which Marco does, because Marco completely trusts Doc, because Doc has never steered Marco wrong. Until... Over time, Doc starts asking Marco for things. Nothing too life-changing, like, hey, uh, can I use your house to host a party for my friends? And Marco trusts Doc, so he's like, sure, buddy. But then, over the course of years and years, Doc starts asking for bigger and bigger things. And Marco trusts Doc, so he would say yes. And at some point, Doc comes asking Marco if he can live in a vacation house that Marco owns. Because Marco has this huge house in the Hamptons, and Marco's like, sure, you can live there. So Doc and his wife move in, and they start living in Marco's vacation home. And it keeps going, because Doc keeps asking for more and more. And soon he has Marco running errands for him, Doc has him doing yard work, helping throw lavish parties, printing out invitations, and the asks just continue to grow. And eventually he asks Marco, hey, can I use some of your money to open a charity? Or hey, can you give me an executive position at your fabric company? Or hey, can I be a signatory on your bank account? Doc even asks Marco to change his will, so that Doc's wife will inherit everything after Marco dies. So over the course of 30 years, everything that Marco owns has slowly been commandeered by his own psychiatrist. And Marco's such a nice, agreeable guy that he doesn't realize how f***ed up all this is. Until... One day, Marco gets a hernia, and he has to get surgery and spend quite a bit of time in the hospital. And while he's there, he starts to get lonely. And he ends up asking himself, where the hell is Doc? I mean, this is a major surgery. Doc hasn't visited, he hasn't called to check on me, not even once. And he suddenly realizes that Doc had pushed him away from not only his sister, but many romantic and personal relationships over the years, so that Doc would be his only friend. And there, stuck in the hospital, alone with his thoughts, he starts to get mad. And that that's when he realizes Doc was never his friend. He was just using him to take control of all of his stuff. And so Marco is finally like, Doc, I'm gonna take back control of my life. So he sends an angry letter to Doc, telling him that he never wants to see him again. And he kicks him out of his home in the Hamptons. He immediately writes Doc and Doc's wife out of his will. It's liberating. And slowly, Marco starts getting his life back together. He makes amends with his sister. He brings her back into his life. He finally goes out and gets a girlfriend after all these years. And eventually, he ends up submitting a complaint against Doc to the New York Department of Health. Then the Department of Health investigates, and guess what they find? Doc apparently has a history of doing this to his patients manipulating them, getting them to write him into their wills, stuff like that. So ultimately, the Department of Health strips Doc of his medical license and he can no longer practice medicine in the state of New York. Good for Marco. Shout out to New York.